Good morning. Thank you for joining us. We're so excited that we're here today with one of our American Cancer Society funded researchers, Dr. Artie Lambert. We're right after one of our ACS events, so there's a little bit going on in the background, but we're going to focus on Dr. Lambert. Artie, tell us a little bit about your lab and what you're currently focused on. Sure, yeah. I work at the Weinberg Lab uh, at the Whitehead Institute at MIT, uh, and what we're focused on currently is understanding metastatic breast cancer. Uh, this is the advanced form of the disease, uh, and what it is is where tumor cells uh, at a primary site, the breasts, travel out through the circulation, uh, and they grow in distant tissues like the lungs, the liver, the bone, and the brain. Uh, and importantly, it's this process that's responsible for, for most of the mortality associated with cancer. Uh, it's been up estimated upwards of 90% of all cancer-associated mortality is due to metastasis. And so we're very interested in understanding uh, what it is about these cells at the molecular and the cellular level uh, that allows them to metastasize uh, and, and give rise to a lethal cancer. Right. So now, in understanding what happens at that molecular level, what can that lead to? What can that mean for folks on the outside, on the other side of the doctor's table? Sure. So we sort of approach it almost uh, from a biological perspective, just asking what it is the cancer cells can do uh, and what sort of biochemistry they have. But uh, our hope, definitely, and, and my belief is that by understanding that, this could lead to potentially new uh, interventions that could either block uh, or thwart the process of metastasis. It's difficult to say exactly what those might be, um, but one thing we're looking at is this idea of cancer stem cells, which might be responsible for fueling these metastases. Uh, and if we could understand something about how these cancer stem cells function, this might represent an opportunity to attack uh, a metastatic cancer. Wow, that's incredible. So work being done right here outside of these walls in Cambridge can have far-reaching effects for folks affected by metastatic breast cancer. I, I think that's the hope. Uh, you know, the density of research, the scientific environment in Cambridge is, is excellent. So uh, that's certainly our hope. Terrific. Well, we're in the business of hope around here. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lambert, for speaking with us. We really appreciate it, giving us a little bit of insight into one of the many, many aspects of ACS-funded research. If you would like to support Artie, and all of his colleagues who are focusing on cancer from all different aspects, please donate if you can at cancer.org or go there and find out some of the ways you can volunteer your time. Thank you very much for watching us today and have a good day.